Hello everybody! My name is Mathis and welcome to a series I have been debating doing for a very long time on a very old RPG. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Honestly, I'm disappointed in myself that I've never truly actually been able to play this game for one reason or another. I've always been told, especially for me, this is a game I would adore from top to bottom. And I've always avoided it. For one reason or another, I've always avoided it, and I've decided to avoid it no longer. I'm going to play through this game. Now, whether I do it on camera or not is going to be up in the air. I'm very curious what the reception to this game is going to be. Games kind of do randomly on my channel, uh, outside of survival games, which always do really well. Some games do incredibly well, like Honey Pop. Others, not so well, like, uh, like Undertale. So I'll be curious to see what it is. And for me, I love this world, the world of darkness. Um, I mean, I know this company was just bought out by Paradox or was working with Paradox now, but for me, I own a ton of World of Darkness tabletop books and I love the vampire in the World of Darkness world. So to not have played this game is something that is a crime for me. So I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna go in with any other knowledge other than what I know about the world itself and we're gonna play. And hopefully, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna have a new game here, and we're gonna make our character. Uh, I don't know how bad the loading times can be, but if they're really, really, really bad, I'll end up, I'll, 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 I'll do some editing. I'm gonna have to do some editing anyway. A new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer a series of questions about the type of vampire you would like to play and allow the game to create a character, or go directly to the character sheet and set your character's clan, attributes, and abilities myself? I prefer to do this, mainly because I know I've built World of Darkness characters before. I'll try and kind of talk and dictate a little bit of how everything works. Um, so we're going to be playing a male character, and I'm going to name him Mathis, of course. Why would I not? And the first thing we have to do is pick a clan. That's like picking your class in any other RPG. Clan is the type of vampire you're going to be. And they all have interesting aspects about them. Um, we'll, we'll kind of go through them each. So we'll start with Bruja. Bruja are passionate idealists and rebels, more likely to fight for their rights than write po protest songs. In life, most Bruja sought social change, and in Undeath, most clan members commonly seek the creation of a vampiric utopia. As militant radicals, they are renowned for their combat skills, but are also more likely to frenzy due to their hot-bloodedness, so to, so to speak. They receive a plus one to their unarmed feet, but are penalized with a minus two to all frenzy checks due to their zealous natures. Um, which hopefully we'll talk, they'll talk about in the game. If they never really touch on Frenzy and the Beast and all that other stuff, uh, I'll talk about it, but um, basically think of him as like a melee brute. That's what brujas are, in a simple way. Then we got Gangrels. Gangrels are... They're wild loners that are most in tune with the Beast Within, allowing them to shapeshift into more beastly forms. Nomadic in nature, Gangrel can uh, care little about vam vampire politi politics and prefer to dwell and hunt in the outskirts of society. Because of their animalistic nature, they receive a plus five strength uh, to strength, stamina, and wits during frenzy. However, because of their inherent feral nature, Gangrel receive a minus one on all frenzy checks. So they, they get a huge bonus for being within a frenzy, but to resist going into frenzy, which could be important, especially in social situations, they get a minus one on those checks. And the thing with the World of Darkness world is that combat is equally as important, maybe even a little less so than the, the, the social... Uh, tenacity, the, the social society that vampires have within the cities, which I think they'll touch on. Malkavians are fucking crazy. That's all I know. Uh, Malkavians are known as lunatics because of their ability to hear voices of insight and subject others to their insanity through their discipline and dementation. Um, the world appears much different to the Malkavian than it does to the sane clans, though the extent of a Malkavian's madness depends on the individual. A blessing and a curse, a Malkavian's insanity will help or hinder them depending on how much they struggle against their nature. Malkavians start with a plus two inspection bonus. This is one of the clans I'm thinking about playing through because I only plan on playing through this game once. There's a couple of clans I'm thinking about doing it with. People have said, it's interesting because talking about it online, people have said that they that either you should play Malkavian or you shouldn't and they both have very strong opinions on both sides. Um, we got Nosferatu. Hit, think about it, they're like Nosferatu from the movies. They're hideous, skulking, and powerful. Even in a world of monsters, the Nosferatu stand out. 
The Embrace twists and deforms their physical features, forcing them to seek sanctuary underground. Nosferatus are masters of the shadows due to their curse. Nosferatu have a seduction of zero and can never raise it higher, and they hide their existence from common humans. Having shared the darkness with the vermin for so long, vampires of Clan Nosferatu are able to draw extra nourishment from rats. So basically, this is one of the hardest classes to play. Even in the tabletop version, it's one of the hardest clans to play as because of their hideousness. Um... We've got Toreador, they're the artistic folk, if I remember correctly. Toreador picture themselves as artists, yep, there we go, and visionaries, and they value the high society mentality that the Camarilla re reinforces. Of all clans, the Toreador are the most connected to the mortal world through arts and entertainment. Toreador are beautiful creatures, svelte and seductive, and move almost effortlessly through the society of the living. The Toreador's empathy is both a gift and a burden. All humanity shifts are double. So, uh, they're basically... From I mean, they kind of bring it up about here, but they're basically the closest thing to being human that a vampire can get is if you're part of the Toreador clan. If that a Toreador is the one that uh, master or sires you, then you will become a Toreador. I mean, that's just how clans work. If like a Malkavian sires you, you're a Malkavian. Um, but they're the closest to human that there are. Then we've got uh, Tremir. They are um, I can't the, oh they're the sorcerers, the ones I never played as before. Uh, blood sorcerers born from mystic rituals in Diablery. Diablery. I forget about that word. The Tremere are the least trusted of the Camarilla clans. The ritual the Tremere used to transform from living mages into undying monsters stripped them of their magic arts. Uh, to compensate, the vampires of Clan Tremere developed thaumaturgy, the powerful discipline of blood magic. The clan guards its secrets jealously and are the only kindred to wield the powerful discipline. The pursuit of arcane knowledge comes before all else, and the reliance upon it has weakened the bloodline. Tremere can raise no physical attribute above four points. So they were mages that were made vampire, which is a whole... Mages are a whole different thing in the world of darkness that are complicated and fun. And the last one is the one I've played the most, uh, and I ones I like the most, uh, in tabletop, Adventure, because they're... I'm, uh, when I play tabletop RPGs, I prefer to play a roleplay heavy classes. Um, Ventru are truly the upper echelons of society. The Ventru are seen as the honorable and virtuous leaders of the Camarilla. They wholeheartedly support the masquerade, influencing the mortal and undead worlds to help them maintain the masquerade as well as garner support for themselves. Clan Ventru is an exclusive and powerful gathering of immortals, and even the lowliest initiative Clan Ventru can expect special treatment in kindred society. This regal bloodline, however, gains no nourishment from the lowborn and thin-blooded. Ventru gain no ble blood from feeding on animals. So that's going to be their big downside. Feeding on low-life humans, prostitutes, and the homeless can cause the Ventru to vomit. So they basically think of them as they can only drink the finest of wines, right? That is the way they approach, or that's the, their, their weakness when it comes to blood. They can only feast upon the finest of blood. Low-born blood in animal blood is impossible, but low-born blood makes them vomit. Uh, that's kind of their, their shtick. So for me, I'm stuck between Malkavian and Venture because Malkavian's really cool, though they have the ability to be insane. But I think I'm going to stick with Venture on my first playthrough, maybe? I'm not totally sure. Um, let's, let's figure this out. Okay, so after a little bit of discussion and a little bit of uh, thinking, I've decided on Venture. Now, the reason I decided on Venture is because I don't know how well the series is going to do. Um, and if there are a lot of people who don't, are not familiar with the vampire world or World of Darkness in general, Malkavian, though something I would probably love, I'd probably play on a personal playthrough if I get another shot at it, would just be nonsensical to a lot of people. The plot would be hard to come across, and my dialogue options as Malkavian would, from my quick research, are literally, unless you understand what's going on with Malkavian, are like complete gibberish to people. So, I'm gonna stick with what I prefer, uh, what I play with on, on tabletop anyway, and that's Ventru. So, hello Mathis, the Ventru, the upper echelon of society, because clearly that's what I am, upper echelon of society with my dick jokes all the time, and we'll go to the next step. So this is the character sheet. This is how kind of things go. Um, we are looking at building our character uh, from from basically nothing. Um, if we could hit auto spend points, I'm curious what it's gonna do for auto spending our points. All right, so if we hit auto leveling is off, that's fine. I don't want auto leveling on. So basically, these all do certain things. It's not like your D and D character sheet. It's a little bit more vague and a little bit more um, fluid than your typical D and D character sheet. Uh, but this is this is it. 
This is what we've got. And each one does something different. So strength kind of does what you normally would think it would do. Uh, physical prowess is required for the front lines, blah, blah, blah. Basically, strength is a measure of character's physical prowess. It is crucial for both the unarmed and melee combat feats. Dexterity determines the speed and agility of your character. Dexterity will increase your lockpicking and sneaking feats. As I, as I hiccup, holy crap. Stamina, your character's overall toughness prevents damage from bullets, police batons, and baseball bats. Charisma, obviously, my ability to sway others. Manipulation, your character's ability to exploit people and events. Uh, it's necessary in the has for the haggle feat. And then indicates, uh, we got appearance, indicates the physical attractiveness of your character. Appearance is the foundation of the seduction feat. Got it. Mental, we've got some wits, the sharpness of my character's mind. Perception and intelligence is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Then we got brawl, dodge, subterfuge, and intimidation, firearms, computer, finance, and scholarship. So finance... Evaluate the market value of items finance needed for the haggle feat scholarship your character's ability to gather information Debate and learn new skills. So that's useful and computer. See honestly the way they spent the points are not terrible um, These are my disciplines as venture. We've got the ability to dominate activation cost one blood the target momentarily sinks into a deep trance taking any actions against the target will wake them up prematurely so we can dominate somebody Fortitude uh, is amazing display of pre uh, preternatural con constitution. Guarantees a certain amount of damage from every incoming attack. Will be ignored regardless of the source. The use of fortitude is not considered a violation of the masquerade. Good, 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 good. Which we'll learn all about that as time goes on. And presence. The dread presence of a vampire can strike mortal fear into the hearts of their opponents. Reduces enemies' effectiveness in combat. All levels of presence cost one blood per activation. Presence carries no risk of violating the masquerade. And we get one in firearms. I don't know if we want one in brawl. We might. Measures the character's ability to conceal their motives and deceive others. Honestly, there's a lot we want. Like, stealth is another big one. We might remove, like, if we remove this one, can I put it in stealth? No. Okay, so we have to spend it over here. We only get one skill over here, and I think firearms might be our best bet. Uh, this honestly might be our best bet. So we can keep all the ones here. We can't put any more in here. All right. So we'll go ahead and keep it in wits. Honestly, this is not a bad spend a sp expenditure, so that's fine. Dominate fortitude, yeah. That that works. I'm okay with that. I probably would have spent it the same way anyway. Um, basically, you have a certain amount of points you could spend in physical, social, and mental. That's hence why I can't spend this point in any of the others because it's a mental point only. Works for me. We will accept this as our character sheet. Uh, and hit accept. The act of transforming a mortal into a vampire is called the embrace. All right. We're going into the world of darkness, baby. And I'm pumped for it. Oh, shit. Look at those textures. Oh, dang, girl. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh shh. Yeah, that's how it works usually. If you... If you're gonna sire somebody, you're usually gonna do it while you're banging the shit out of them. So she said she wanted to show me something. And I have died, basically. I'm the Italian Stallion! Hell yes! We took a lot of drugs, apparently, too. Why? Why? Just like. We're just lying there dead. It takes hours. So are they gonna show everything? Like, as far as how the siring works, or no? Because it looks like the answer is no. Oh, no, there she is. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ah! 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 <laughs> they staked us! So, in the world of darkness, when you... Okay, let's just let this go. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to hey grant girl, or deny the kindred of this city <laughs> the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. 
Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Welp! Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! All right, then. No girl, she's looking hot. That Nosferatu out if there. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. So I was saying, uh, when a vampire gets staked in World of Darkness, they don't die, they become... They go into torpor, which is like a permanent coma, like a sleep until the stake is removed. So that's what they did to us. They staked our hearts. You suck, man. Tragic. There you go. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone... You do whatever, I'm fucking anyone hot. breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Fuck you too, buddy. Right. But, dude, <laughs> that's the worst part. Like, I just, I'm a human that just became a vampire. And he's like, mm, fuck you, you're, you're stuck in this shit now. And they're like, literally, you can't do anything. All right, use the mouse to look around. WASD by default to move. Use the toggle key to switch between first and third person. Okay, so I can, there's a first and a third person. So we've got this, and we can go Z, and that's first. Ah, okay, Jesus. Uh, who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and we'll train life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You wait around. Uh, okay, I could use the help. Uh, I don't have much time. Just give me the basics. What happened in there? I don't need anyone's help. I'm out of here. Well, how about what happened in there? Don't worry, kiddo. You'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time to waste it. You want some help or what? All right, I can use the help. I don't have much time. Just give me the basics. All right, let's see. Give me some help. Uh, why don't we uh, step out back here? That sounds dirty. I like it where I am. At least I'm out of that theater. Nice and stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Good save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? So I'm assuming this guy is probably a gangrel of some type, um, and he's offering help. So drink of what? I don't remember. No, I haven't had a drink. Oh man, we're popping a cherry here! <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood. It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. What do I do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. 
<laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> what do I do? Won't he become a vampire then? It's been one of those nights that can use a drink, yeah. No, he won't become a vampire. So the way uh, turning works in this, in the World of Darkness is you drain them basically, and then you let them drink, the sire lets them drink the sire's blood. But let's just let him explain it. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. I'll do my best. All right. This is your blood pool. All right. Blood is a fuel of your vampire, vampiric powers or disciplines. When your blood pool is low, you need to, to refill it. Vampire is an abundant source of blood in most areas of the game. Um, one is in the alley around the corner. Okay. Do we really need, like, third person? Does it matter? So there's somebody there. He's lost the keys to his car? I think he lost the wheels to his car, honestly. If you take a look at the wheels... Feeding on a human feels your blood pool. To feed, approach your victim and press the feed key when you are close. It is important that humans do not see you feed on other humans. That makes sense. Once you have begun feeding on your victim, you will see this, a bar appear. This represents your victim's blood pool. You should stop feeding before the blood pool, uh, before emptying his blood pool and killing him. Press F again to stop feeding. First of all, dude, your car, I just gotta say, your car, it's missing wheels, sir. All right, well. Oh, baby, yeah, drink him up. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh, sorry. Is this, mm. oh, is this good? I'm just gonna fill my shit up, and we're done. Sorry about that. I just uh, don't worry. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You liked it, actually. I bet you dirty human. You fucking liked it. Did you like it? I know you did. All right, I did it. I did it, sir. Hey, what's up? I don't like you. <laughs> You're really, really dangerous. <laughs> Great! When do I get my cape? Do I get to pick the color? I don't know how I feel about it, but it does feel good. I'm a venture, man. I'm higher. I'm upper echelon. All right, like what? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet. Still a chance of immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So I'm gonna live forever then. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, worthless. A cross, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> A steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, then it's just paralyzed. Running water? That's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head? Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Yeah. Alright, got it. So, some of the vampire lores are true, others not so much. Okay, now. Uh, is nobody gonna tell? Really? Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I? I hit F. It didn't do anything. How do I get inside? Hello? Okay, let's jump. Can we just? Can I leave? Hey man, don't worry about me. I know you you just you know you probably turned on by the sight of me, but don't worry about me right now. How do I get in the house? Uh can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to get in the house? Just crouch. Usually E is like what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't actually do anything. What the fuck? No valid target found. 
I don't understand. Let's just hit buttons. Q, no. W, no. E, R, T, Y, U, I. Uh, can't use, okay. The I is inventory. O, P, A. I'll go back up that way. F, no. G, H, no. H is apparently first person. J, K, haha, <laughs> nope. Cancel. L, nope. Head inside the meet the building. I'm trying, man. That's what I'm trying to do. Z, no. X, C, no. That's my character. V, B, eh, nope. All right, none of those actually did anything. I went through everything. Okay. How about if I? What is this? I'm just like holding tab out. Okay, that's blocking. That's not what I was looking for. Brain wipe trance. Guys, I just want to get in here. Okay, I got to figure out how to get in here. Hang on. Okay, I reloaded the game and eventually gave me the tutorial on how to open doors, which is the E button, which is what it should have been initially. So we should be able to pop this sucker open and head inside. All right, here we go. We're in a garage. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. This garage looks a little run down. Uh, press the jump key. Uh, jump on the boxes uh, against the wall and up to the walkway above. Sure, why not? I'm a vampire. Apparently what I can do now is just platform really well. I wonder if it would be easier in first person. Actually, is probably a little more first person. No, you know what? Platforming uh, is better in third person. Surprise! Hey, shiny. Your feats are the com uh, combinations of your various abilities and attributes. The higher your feat scores, the better you are at, at the activities they influence. Inspection is a feat. It is a combination of perception and investigation. It allows you to see hidden and secret things. For example, the lock picks on the crate in front of you. You can find your feats listed on the right-hand side of your character sheet, which if I just hit C, I can see it. Uh, you can pick up certain objects in the world. If you are able to pick up an object, you will see a use icon appear for it when you're close enough, and the crosshairs in the center of your screen are over it. You, all right, so we just can walk over things if we can see it and just hit E, and we can pick them up. So we gained a lock pick. Easy enough. Can I go through this window? This glass should break! What is This world is not destructible enough. Zero out of ten would never play this game again. Hey, what's up, man? I'm down here. I'm working on it. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. The Sabat. They're, uh... Oh, Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, the Sabat. Well, uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? So, what's up? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What's the prince of prince of exactly? No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Okay then. Yo, what up, man? Is he just shooting in the sky? Oh, uh, look at those facial looks. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's gonna, like, run. I don't think it's gonna work. And he just dusted him? The fuck? Uh, I'm not looking at him, apparently. I'm just looking down the hallway. Don't worry, man. I wasn't looking at you. I was looking down the hallway. bastards. Alright, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Alright. To access your quest log, press the quest key. The quest log contains information about your quests as well as any notes or instructions. Got it. Easy enough. So if I hit L, vicious vampire faction known as the Sabat has launched an assault on the secret Camarilla gathering downtown. You and Jack are caught in the middle. To escape, you must obtain, obtain entry into the office. Well, that's pretty simple. Around the corner, there's a door. There's this one here, and then there's this one here. When a door is locked, you will use this. Uh, you will see this icon. Lock picking a combination of dexterity and security is a feat that helps you open. Hope yeah, helps you to open locked doors with a lock pick. When you see this icon, press the use key. Try to lock pick it. Once you have begun lock picking, you will see this bar it represents the time needed to pick the lock. If the value of the lock, your lock picking feat is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the lock, you will be able to pick it. Okay, so what if it's not? All right, I'm doing it. Look at my hand. Look at those nails. Man, I do some good shit on those nails. I did it. We I did it, Jack. 
Jack! 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 Okay, I don't know how- what, How did you get in here? Did you go through the fucking window? You piece of shit, you went through the fucking window. Why did you make me open that if you were just gonna go through the fucking window in the first place? Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Whatever, man. I know how to handle myself. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you did expect. Wait, I've still got that list of people from high school. Why not? <laughs> ha ha, it's the same hilarious. Reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Alright, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the killer gorilla? The assholes <laughs> the that put gorilla. your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Camarilla, so they're like the vampire good guys? Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. Alright, so what's next? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. All right, but what does that mean exactly? You do what you gotta do. Battle, <coughs> destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. Someplace. I'll find it. So what you're saying, area indicator. The icon on the left indicates that you are in a combat area. Combat, anything goes. Masquerade, respect the masquerade. Elysium, vampire neutral ground. No combat or disciplines are allowed except blood buff while lockpicking. Ooh, interesting. So they actually are in bringing the rules of World of Darkness into this video game a little bit more so than I expected. Uh, in masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences such as the unwanted attention of vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, your game is over. Your current number of violations is displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet. Alright, interesting. So what you're telling me is we're not strong enough to crack through a magnetic door as vampires. I'm disappointed in that. Alright, let's look around. We got this here. Can I do anything here? No. How about this? Can I do any- Aha! When you can read a note, you will see the use icon. Readable notes, blah blah blah. Easy enough. Let's read it. Password. Chop shop. Alright. Easy enough. When you can see, when you can use a computer, you will see the use icon. Uh, yeah, they'll have inf useful information. Many manuals and commands will be password protected. You will be prompted to press Control c to attempt your hacking feat. Okay, so hacking is a combination of wits and computer. Um, if you have, if you value, if the value of your hacking feat is equal to the greater than difficulty of the encryption, you will be successful. Well, I got chop shop, so I didn't mean to do that. Type menu or command. Uh, safe menu. Available. We'll go to safe. Password. Chop. Shop. Oop. Shop. Password accepted. Chop shop. Entering menu. Okay. Uh, unlock. Undoors unlocked. Cool. So that's that. We can get out of there now. Alright. When you approach a container, you'll use the, see the use icon. Once open, your inventory appears on the left side and container on the right side. Got it. Easy enough. Chop shop key. I'll take it. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from the top side. All right, sounds good. Press the inventory to access your inventory. Click on the left and right arrows above your inventory to da da da. Keys are located in the equipment category in a key ring. Most keys, blah blah blah. So it's basically your inventory. Was there anything else here? How's it? Just the that. So if I go I. Chop shop key, easy enough. Wallet, I got no money. Your wallet is empty, baby. You're so broke, you can't even afford to pay attention. Ooh, damn, burn, <laughs> burn. All right, that's fine. So we can come over here, we can use the chop shop key, and we can head out the back, because we're smooth Ventru. Oh shit. Ooh. 
Well then. <laughs> when you've been wounded by the Sabbat, this blue bar represents your current level of health. As you sustain regular damage, it will turn black. If your health is completely depleted, you suffer final death, and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time. When you are feeding, your health regenerates much faster. If your health bar begins to turn yellow, it means you have sustained aggravated damage. Certain hazards like fire and supernatural attacks cause aggravated damage. This takes much longer to heal than regular damage. Got it. Well, shit. I guess we're going after Superman over here and hanging out with this guy.